Welcome back to Blender Frenzy. I'm Justin. So if you've been watching along with my tutorial so far, you've seen me kind of go through the setup a couple of times uh, as far as the workspace, but I'm going to do it again here. You can skip ahead of this if you want, but uh, it is going to be slightly different, but this is for all those who are new that want to see what the new workspaces look like. I always want to say workstation. It's not workstation, it's workspace. Um, so this is what Blender looks like when you first start it up click away out of the splash screen and here are your workspaces so you've got different ones of course for the 3d uh, modeling and sculpting and uv editing and all of that good stuff here video editing isn't a workspace yet until you come over here and click the plus go down to video editing and then video editing and here's your default layout um, now I have changed it slightly of what I like and what I'm going to do. Now you can see down here the playback. Uh, if I pull this up, this is going to be my timeline. Now you don't actually need this fully open like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually keep it down. I'm not going to get rid of it, but I'm going to keep it down so that I can just use these controls here uh, when I need the controls. But everything that I used to do here, like uh, start frame and in frame, uh, home and all of that other stuff, you can actually do right in the sequence. So I'm just going to keep this hi hidden a little bit. Now I'll show you one way that you can do it if you want to keep these two areas separate uh, for some reason. Maybe you want to have something over here um, as well as here. So I'm just going to go ahead and add in a movie. I'm going to drag and drop from another window here. And uh, you can also do a shift A to add in a movie just like you were able to do it in 2.79. Okay, so here is your preview window, and then you can put other things over here. Maybe you want a graph editor. Maybe you like the uh, the uh, ability to, uh, well, drag and drop just like it just did. So this is the movie that I did. So you can just kind of click this and drag and drop that. So if you like to have that set up, you can do that. I don't particularly use that because, again, I just dragged from another window. So I'm going to take this in this corner here and pull this into here. And that's what you can do with Blender. If you're new to Blender, you can take these corners and just pull out different areas. And you can pull out as many as you want. And to close them, you basically just go the other way. Boom, boom, boom. And you can uh, kind of play with that. Uh, now, this area and this area are separate right now. I like to join them because... Uh, it gives you the option to have both of them together. And you guys probably, the ones who have been following me, they know this all too well. So I'm just going to drag this one up. So this is now all one area. Come up here, sequencer, sequencer preview. There we go. And here's our uh, sequencer properties that I can hit the N key in for November. Now here's something that I've decided that I'm going to do instead of like pulling these out and back in and uh, resizing these as I'm going to create a duplicate workspace. So if you come over to your video editing and right click, you can actually duplicate that workspace and then it adds it right next to it and it calls it uh, video editing dot one. I'm going to double click in here and I'm going to make this next one here. I'm going to say um, details or you can put properties or whatever. And in this one, I'm gonna double click and at the end, I'm gonna put full, like as in full screen. So with the full one, I'm gonna take this and move that into there. So that's this is my full screen. Now this is gonna be instead of me doing the control space bar, which makes any of these areas full screen. So if I go to video editing details and I hover my mouse over here, control spacebar will make that full screen and you can toggle that by hitting control spacebar again so instead of doing that i'm actually going to create another uh a t two separate video editing tabs one for full screen and one for video editing details now the reason i'm doing this is because i want to keep this playback here um, if i hit control spacebar here it gets rid of that and I want to keep those playback controls so I don't have to keep switching back and forth. I can just come down to playback if I need to do like audio visual, visual sync or AV sync, say that <laughs> real quick. Um, then I can do it here or follow playhead, audio scrubbing, turn on and off. It's just easier to do it like this. Um, and then if I ever need any sort of details, then I come over here. You have the properties panel. I'm also going to pull up uh, this and take this and drag another window out and we're going to put that back down here and i'm going to make this the graph editor um 
for now. And then I can change from the graph editor to our uh, dope sheet uh, pretty quickly like that. Or I can pull out another one uh, depending on how much I want going on my screen. On my screen, I can also duplicate another uh, workspace and um, maybe put one for graph editor, one for dope sheet. And that way I don't have to come over here, find it, click it. All I have to do is click, 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 click back and forth really easily. So uh, right now I'm just going to keep it like this. So there we go. That is my workspace setup. Um, I can click between full and details.